pasta. Mm. Um, I had Tristan come by yesterday. Tristan came over so we can get the whole initial weird first seeing each other out of the way in private. And I think that was probably the smartest thing. It was pretty awkward, but I just feel like it would be weird if you saw True for the first time at her first birthday. It's just weird. Yeah, how was it? Um, it was fine. I mean, at first, if we were, like literally, like, he texted me, he was like, I'm here, and like, I brought True to the door to answer. Like, but she was so excited. It was so really cute. She was really excited, like, jumping in my arms, like, when she saw him. It was oh really my cute. God. And then literally, he was just kind of like lingering, and I was like, So, are you gonna like put her to sleep tonight? Like, and he stayed to put her to bed? Yes, but with intention to see me, because then he was like, So, do you want it? Like, do I have a glass of wine? And I'm like, It must say dumb whore on my forehead. Totally. And he was like, No, it doesn't. And then he was like, Can I have a hug? And I like one arm hugged him, and he was like, One, a one handed hug? I was like, Yeah. He's that's, lucky. I was like, That's nice enough. And then he tried to like kiss me, and I go, You. I go, this is the problem with you. You can't just like take what you get. Whatever. And then this morning, he was like, thank you for letting me see True. She looked great. You looked even better. I just want him to know, I'm inviting you because you're True's dad and I do believe you should be there. And I think that's the best choice for True. That's really it. And I don't want him to take it the wrong way. Cause sometimes I feel like if I give an inch, he takes a mile and he'll take my kindness for a weakness sometimes. And I don't want that.